Hello everyone and you welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your shoe making made easy tutor Odurole Mojibola and today I'm going to be teaching us how to create this double curd slide having a flip over at the end step so I need you to sit back with me today as I put you through on how to create this simple slide you can add to your Christmas, you know, Christmas wardrobe, whether for your, you know, you just want to slide in and out, or probably you want to add it to your collections as you market this Christmas season. Sit back and I'm gonna be right back. So now I need you to understand that I've already taught us how to create this flip over. So I won't be going back into that. I will try to leave the link to the, to actually this particular flip over slide in the comment in the description as well as on top of the screen of this video. Now we are going to be looking at this code. I've taught us so many kinds of way in which we can actually create a code. But for this, I'm going to be showing us how I actually did this. And it was able to give me this stick look and I was able to stitch it neatly. So I'm going to be starting with the leather I'm going to be using. It's still my first leather, you can see, but though it has a, a white and silver look. I'm going to be, and it's very soft, so you need something that is really very soft. I'm going to be using a width of 3.5. You can actually use 3.5 centimeter to be precise. You can actually use 3 centimeter if you so desire, but I don't want to have issues when I'm trying to actually create my cord. Don't forget we are creating a cord slide with a flip over you know design at the end step so i'm just going to go ahead join this together and apply gum don't forget the length will definitely correspond to the length of your cord it's basically the width that is actually the main thing so i'm going to be applying my contact adhesive on this this is what i'm going to be using for the application so now i've already applied my gum i cut out an ever foam is also called mako in nigeria is two millimeter two millimeter it means the thickness is just 0.2 centimeter which is also equivalent to two millimeter i'm going to put it at the center and then our magic is going to begin. When I mean magic, I mean our cord. So, you can see I, I didn't apply gum on this at all. Please note, I didn't apply gum on this at all. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing is as soon as the um, contact cement adhesive is dry, yes, I'm going to just go ahead and fold it this way. Is a two millimeter marker, so it's not as if it's quite hard. I'm going to try to fold it to equal part. You'll be looking at it as you do so, then you bring this together. Can you see what this is looking like? Let me just continue for us to see. So that's the same way I'm going to continue to fold. You see that I'm already creating the cord. Is actually very simple to actually create, but just ensure you use a two millimeter macro, which is also known as EVA foam. Don't forget that macro comes in different color, it comes different colors. You have yellow, you have white, different colors. So it's just that I'm using black here. In case you get to the market and you're seeing another color, it's still the same thing. So we call it EVA foam. It's actually used to actually cushion our foot waist. we use it as foot beds as well so as you can see what i'm having my cord is already being formed you can see what i have i don't know if you can see what i have can you see what i have so i'm just going to go ahead and finish it right down here
now as you can see i'm through with it although i have excess um, um, leather at the edges i'm fine i think that will help me when i begin to stitch so i'm going to go ahead now and stitch them how so i'm going to stitch very close to the edge i'm going to stick very close to the edge so that i can easily trim off the excess so now as you can see i'm going to go ahead and stitch my cord you can see i'm using the normal manual machine the the domestic one not the industrial machine so just put it right there actually the needle i'm using is actually dp5 size 23 i'm using size 23 for this particular work so let's just quickly go just go gently so that it will be easy the stitch will be easy and you will also enjoy what you are doing now now you can see we are having it stitching it neatly so just do that gently until you finally finish your stitching. Don't forget to consistently oil your leather. That's also important. It helps your your machine foot to move easily so we are good to go so now that we are true with our stitching we are just going to go ahead now and um, trim it out i'm just going to try to trim make sure you trim very close very close to your stitch Hula, our card is ready. You can see now all we need to do is just to place it on our insole and begin to use. You can see what I have here. So as you can see in the picture, we have two cards. One, we, there's one here and there's another one at the back and the flip, flip, flip over design is right here. Now, one major thing I need you to understand in this particular chord slide is how to basically position this chord in such a way that the smallest tool will not be hurting each time it is worn so now i'm going to be showing us two different ways in which we can actually go about our positioning and the first one is using our fingers as usual now place your finger this way on top of your insole now somebody's already asking what am i using as my insole it's actually a pvc material i bought it as a sheet it comes in sheet and all i did was get a template i created a template for this particular side and i use it to cut it now if you are not working with a template you can decide to use a sole now this is also a sole this is an already made sole so although i'm going to be using this particular sole for this particular design what i just did is i placed this my sole my already made sole i placed it on the pvc material outlined it and when i was cutting i cut outside you can see that i didn't cut on the line i cut outside because i want to have a little extension all around when i finally place it that will help me to be able to trim it in gently you can see blue you can see the blue i made sure all around it there is an extension you can see it's also on this side it's all over actually so it's a pvc material in nigeria for example it call it's it's called nora it's called normal just like a rubber sheet that's what it is is a rubber sheet so 
I hope that explained that. So let's quickly go into our positioning. Now, for this particular design, because of the cord, you can see it's quite tiny. And then we have to consider the smallest toe on the foot. It's very important. So I am going to be positioning it right here. I'm going to be suggesting you use this place also direct. Before now, I'm sure you have taught us that when you want to use a particular strap that is quite tiny ensure that you use this side but for this is much more tiny and we want to ensure that it covers the smallest toe so it is assumed that the smallest toe will be stopping here by the time we place our foot on this particular shoe so i need you to just go ahead and use quite under under it don't use exactly here use under so that your smallest toe will be showing the tip of your smallest toe is going to be right here and then you are going to be having your cord stopping here so this is what i mean you can see where the cord is so the smallest toe will successfully be inside you know the the cord without any limitation or not when you are even walk, walking it doesn't remove so in case you just want to use one cord hop here ensure that you bring your hand down a little bit here when you place your hand don't forget the longest toe the, the longest finger rather has to be at the edge of your insole right here why others are positioned just like we have here so you are going to use directly under this about one centimeter to 0 0.5 centimeter under this particular toe sorry under this particular finger so for this particular side i have always thought us to use this but for this particular design is totally different so we're going to be coming right here we're going to be choosing this particular side it's looking so odd but trust me by the time you are through their foot will conveniently be inside that particular cord whether you are using one or you are using two so let me show you what i mean so it's going to actually look like this so i'm sure when you look at the upper part i mean this remaining part you begin to wonder how come you have so much space now if you don't do it that way their smallest toe will be outside and the big toe also won't be comfortable when inside that particular cord slide so please ensure you pay attention to this now if you don't want to do this i will suggest that you make use of your foot try to use your foot to gauge it here is my foot don't mind my foot you can see i have space ensure you have a space it, of course there's no way you wear footwear and it will be like this on your foot no so it is assumed that there is always a space right here so ensure you put the space place it this way ensure you place this way can you see what i have is totally covering all don't position it this way this is looking so slant and at the end of the white person is walking the smallest toe might actually be coming out so ensure you position it this way i'm sure you can see this so anytime you are doing you are actually creating this for any size position your foot with this particular space at the you know tip at the tip of your insole and position the front part this way if you look at the sole i'm stepping on it's not actually my size it's actually 38 i don't wear 38 but i can conveniently position my leg on a footwear and use my leg to position it the my upper proper prop as in properly because i know how to actually position my leg on the insole i cannot come here and do like this and say i'm positioning no i can't come here and do like this and say i'm positioning no as long as it is actually the toe part you are positioning whatever design you are creating ensure that you position your leg just like this i'm sure you can see the little space here and then go ahead and fix your upper the same way you want it to look on your customer's foot so irrespective of whether it's a cord or not even if you are fixing a strap you can actually use this to position it and position it quite well so i hope this helps this um, when it comes to lasting, I hope this helped your lasting process. If you're just watching my channel for the first time, ensure that you subscribe and you click the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. Don't forget that this particular code can be used in different ways. Like you have on the screen, you can actually decide to actually fold. You can fold it this way and create a kind of code. 
let me quickly show us what I mean. You can see what I have. I have to this way, put it, insert it into it, and then um, hold it this way. You can see what I, I inserted it. I held it this way. Then let this go into this. And then this is what you are going to be having. You want to do it this way, fine. You understand this is what you are going to be having. And you can decide to use that to create a design this way. You can make it three. You can make it two. You can make it one. It depends on what you really want. You can see what this look, looks like. So that's another thing you can actually do with your cord. Now you can also decide to use your cord to actually create a flip flop. And then that means you are going to actually suspend this strap here and you're going to go ahead and this is going to be under and the strap is going to be holding this. You have already created a flip flop with this same cord. So if you need to understand more about cord, I have a video on how to create different kinds of cord. Thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial. And don't forget my three weeks intensive training course pack together is still available. Check the description and see the available courses that I have. I'm sure it will really help you to grow your business and to take it to another level. My pattern ebook is still available as well, The Business of Shoemaking, which I recommend for everyone who is just starting and those who really want to understand the business of shoemaking and not just learning the skill alone. So, thank you once again for being part of today's tutorial and I'm going to see you next time. Bye!